Welcome to Backyard Cigars. 13 years ago, in 2008, Cigar Aficionado rated this cigar number one. And it created a lot of controversy because there were so many people that felt this cigar did not deserve to be listed as the number one cigar. And a lot of people felt very strongly about that. So much that it kind of muddied the waters a little bit for Cigar Aficionado in regards to just how transparent they were being about why they chose or why they choose a cigar to be number one. In this cigar's case, they listed the reason being was, or one of the reasons being, was the price. The bang for your buck that you got from this cigar. And that it was a good cigar. That we're going to find out. At least on my end. This is the Casa Magna Colorado. As I said before, 2008 winner, number one cigar, Cigar Aficionado. The Colorado, of course, refers to the color of the wrapper, which is a Colorado Maduro. Or just a Colorado, which is, it translates to a reddish, sort of a reddish brown color. You know, this cigar is it's collaboration between Manuel Quesada and Nestor Plasencia. I mean, two two legends. So it's not like the people behind them aren't worthy of accomplishing a Cigar of the Year award. Certainly, they knew what they were doing when they got this cigar out, but. The problem was that the number two cigar was none other than the Padron 80th year anniversary. And that, my friends, is just an outstanding cigar year after year. That year alone, it was great, but it continues to be great. So... With that controversy behind us, it's been 13 years, but people don't let it go. People don't forget. I don't forget. I don't forget. And it, and, and that's why, for me, you know, this, this whole thing with Cigar of the Year, I mean, I'm sure it's great for the cigar maker to win the award. It's just like an Oscar, right? You may not care about winning an Oscar if you're a good actor or an actress, but if you win the award, most of the time, unless you're Marlon Brando or somebody like that, you accept the fact that you are now going to be considered for bigger and better roles, potentially, and that your career will shift into another gear. And once you win the award, you realize that it's, better things are yet to come because Manuel Quesada himself admits that Cigar Aficionado's ratings on his cigars have allowed his company to prosper. And that's a wonderful thing for a guy like Manuel Quesada. Manuel Quesada, uh, I mean, fourth generation, these are legendary cigar men and even women in his case. There are women in his family that are working to become the next generation of cigar experts. So, is it any good? Or is it as good as they said it was that it deserved to be number one? Well, Got some pepper. This is a Nicaraguan Nicaraguan puro. It's five and a half by fifty-two robusto, and it's got a decent. It's got a pretty good decent aroma. The the uh, tobacco here is from Jalapa and Esteli. 
again, this is work by Manuel Quesada and Nestor Placencia out in Nicaragua. I don't expect this to be a bad cigar in any way, but 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 is it deserving of a number one? I mean, I think that's probably been settled already, but here I am doing this review 13 years later. Dry finish. I'm going to work on this a little bit more. Smoke it a little bit more. Think about what I'm going to say in regards to the flavor and the whole bang to buck theory because I'm a big believer in a great bang for your buck cigar but I, I never think that that's why a, sugar, a cigar should win best cigar of the year I don't I don't think that that's the reason that it should win should it factor in I think that to some degree right because we've discussed about how you know certain cigars and you know the cost if it outweighs you know the you know the the pleasure or vice versa but we'll see i've got the first inch almost done and the ash is probably going to drop pretty soon what i'm liking so far from it is a good consistent flavor uh some cocoa hints pepper very little sweetness and some earthy tobacco now, this isn't to say that the cigar won't develop along the way, but if the first inch uh, isn't wowing me, uh, I'm, I'm only going to hope that further along to the cigar, I will get a little uh, better feeling about this cigar. But right now, it just tastes like a very great budget stick. Not a very good one, a very great budget stick because it's a nice slow burner and it's very well balanced so that's that's what it's got going for it right now I do feel that the draw is a little conservative it's it isn't uh, difficult to to smoke the cigar I just feel like the draw is a little tight just a little bit I just want to say to everybody out there that might be thinking Jose, you've had it out for this cigar even before you smoked it because it beat one of your uh, one of your favorite cigars in Padron 80th year. So not true. In fact, I would have welcomed uh, any kind of evidence that this cigar would have been better than the Padron, even if I had doubts, because. It can happen. It can happen. On any given Sunday, it can happen. But in this case, it has not happened. It has not. It's been a very good cigar, a very great, excuse me, budget stick, as I said before. And it's got really good flavors and it's very well balanced. And it's excellent. Excellent. A very good experience. But not worthy of, of the honors. And, and that's okay, you know, I mean, Cigar Aficionado picked it. You and I didn't pick it as number one. We, we can get a little bit upset about it, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna make, it's not gonna enrich our lives uh, if, if our favorite cigar would have been made number one. It's, it's, it's the very same way that I try to tell my diehard uh, sports fan friends that if our team wins the World Series or wins the Super Bowl, it's not gonna enrich our lives. It'll give us some sense of satisfaction in, in, the, in, in regards to the, the fact that we are diehard fans, but it isn't gonna put money in my pocket. It isn't going to somehow change my life dramatically. I'll just feel really good and I'll feel good about it, which is, something nice when when you feel really good about something it's it's good but that's all it is so when a cigar when your favorite cigar wins uh number one cigar of the year it's actually a double-edged sword because now 
your 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 favorite cigar is hard to find, hard to get. Maybe the price goes up, or maybe because the production has gone up, you know, there's a decrease in the quality. Just just ask fans of, uh, I believe the 2016 uh, Cigar of the Year award, uh, Andalusian Bull. A lot of people felt that, you know, a few years after that, the quality dropped myself included so of course they can regain that quality re regain that status a cigar can win cigar of the year more than once it's just a question of is it worth it, it, is, is it did it earn it but again for me I don't care about any of those awards I don't it's good to see some of the cigars that you love and you smoke on a daily basis or that you have uh, a fondness for get recognized. But that recognition, those awards, that's for the cigar maker. That's for the company. They're the ones that are going to revel in it. We, as the cigar smokers, we're going to feel good about it. And that's it. And then, we'll, and then we'll, there'll be some consequences for us. Some good, some bad. So, I'm going to smoke a little bit right before I get to the band, sum it all up, and I'm going to call it a day after that. Okay, so I'm back. And th this is what it boils down to. Very good cigar. Bang for your buck. Probably one of the best bang for your bucks. Probably uh, a cigar that you want to get a five pack and have it around. It's a nice slow burner. You get cocoa notes you get some cedar you get a uh, good dose of pepper nothing crazy everything is uh, very well balanced it, uh, it has a very good aroma it's not an overpowering aroma the draw was a little conservative a little too much for my liking uh, it uh, smokes very well other than that it smokes very well and it has good flavors so you get some earthiness and some woodiness heading into the second and and final third as well and that those cocoa notes with the pepper so you get a nice hint of cocoa sweetness with some pepper wonderfully done wonderfully done and in a good cigar hands down and that's what i'm going to say about that it's it's a good cigar and the fact that it's not expensive makes it that much more appealing so my hats off to them on this cigar I would have placed it I mean I didn't smoke every single cigar from 2008 in the, two, uh, in the top 25 but if I had to take a guess it's worthy of the top 10 perhaps maybe top 15 but Look, I'm not working for Cigar Aficionado. I could really not even uh, uh, begin to tell you what what should be the Cigar of the Year or what shouldn't. It should just be whatever you think is best for you. And what you enjoy smoking is what matters most. Not what a magazine tells you or what a magazine says. That's for the cigar makers to worry about, remember? They're the ones that are really going to profit from that, as Manuel Quesada has said himself. It's your fault, Cigar Aficionado, for the increased demand in my cigars. And I know he's smiling and laughing all the way to the bank. God bless his soul. So thank you guys for watching. Till next time on Backyard Cigars. Thank you.